secant. You knew it was either secant or cosecant. So y equals secant of pi over 3 times x minus 1. Both the 1 and the pi over 3 are in the argument. Which one of those numbers affects the period? Go with green for period. If you said pi over 3, you are correct. Now, the normal period of cosine is 2 pi. The normal period of secant is 2 pi. So what are we going to do? We're going to take 2 pi and we're going to divide it by pi over 3. When you divide by a fraction, multiply by the reciprocal. And very conveniently, pi divided by pi is 1, so that is just 6. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing because my phase shift is... One. And remember, we want to add the period and the phase shift. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to mark one. That's where my cycle is going to start. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And seven is where my cycle would end. If I wanted in another cycle, zero, one, go six to the left, negative three, negative four, negative five. Okay. Now, I think it is much, much easier to dot in a cosine curve and then graph the secant curve from that. So, what is cosine of 0? Cosine of 0 is 1. If I put 1 in here, I get... pi over 3 times 0, which is pi over 3. If I pretend this is cosine, cosine of pi over 3 times x minus 1. We're going to graph this first. At 1, we would have a 1. It would be at 1. At 7, it would be at 1. At negative 5, it would be at 1. Now, we're used to dividing this period by 4. That's 1 and a half. So if I go here, here, this number is 1, 2, 3, 4, and there. One and a half would be right here. That's negative two. So we've divided it into four parts there. So halfway in between, we're at a low point, negative one. On the axis, on the axis, on the axis there, low point on the axis, and let's see if I can draw anywhere close to a decent dotted curve. Got my points, just have to try to get them. Remember when you do cosine, you're doing a ram, so this has this one has to be going down. All right, now I'm ready to graph secant x, and it's really very simple once you have that cosine in there. There is no vertical shift to this curve, so our vertical asymptotes are going to be where the curve crosses the x-axis. Negative a half. is two and a half.
and this is five and a half. Now we're cosines one, secants one. We're cosines negative one, secants negative one. Make sure and put these points in here really good. And then you just have use opening up, hand down. Try to bet, do your best to approach the asymptotes. Put arrows on your graph. Yeah, it's a little wild there. This really is not the easiest thing to graph with. But I can do all kinds of pretty colors. Ooh, that's horrible. Alright, now let's double check our period. Alright, our period was 6. So, here's where a cycle starts. And here's where it ends. Do you see the two equivalent of a U up and a U down? If I go from negative one half to this asymptote is at four, five and a half. Do you see that that is also six units? Okay, so anywhere from a, where it starts to repeat itself, it's the period is Alright, one last one. And yes, it's cosecant. And I've thrown a little bit of everything in here. Now, instead of thinking immediately of cosecant, remember we're going to graph this just as if it were a sine curve. Y sine? Because cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. Well, it's too far along for me to start over. So you all are just going to have to put up with my mistakes here. Sine 3x plus pi over 2. You want to start with the vertical axis? Let's start with the vertical axis this time. There weren't changes on the vertical axis last time, but this time there are. What does the negative 2 do? If you said vertical shift, you're exactly right. And so you notice that I have dotted in this axis down to. What does the negative 3 do? Amplitude. Amplitude is always positive. It's the absolute value of negative 3. So it is 3. We go 3 units up to 1 and 3 units down to negative 5. Alright, now we're ready to tackle this. Let's talk about the period. What is the period? The normal period is 2 pi. So I'm going to take 2 pi and I'm going to divide it by the coefficient of x, which is 3. The period is 2 pi divided by 3. Now, this all-important phase shift. Remember, we want to take this and set it equal to 0. Can you do that equation you had? 3x is negative pi over 2. Negative pi over 2 times a third is negative pi over 6. So, I come over here. I'm going to mark negative pi over 6. Remember, we're going to add these two together. Negative pi over 6 and 2 pi over 3, which is 4 pi over 6. When we add them together, we get 
pi over 2. So if my cycle starts at negative pi over 6, it's going to end at pi over 2. And it just so happens that on this one, if I take this 2 pi over 3, the period, and divide it by 4, I get pi over 6. So I'm going to mark my axis in units of pi over 6, which is going to put me pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, and 3 pi over 6, pi over 2. One cycle is going to go from here to here. That's all I'm going to do right now on this one. Um, and so here we go. I'm graphing cosine. Nope, I'm graphing sine. All right. If I put negative pi over 6 in here, this is 0. Sine of 0 is 0. Times 3 is 0. Negative 2 minus 0 is negative 2. Sine starts on the axis. Then it, it would go to a high point, but this is negative 2, so it goes to a low point. I'm going to check myself by putting in 0. What is sine of pi over 2? y at pi over 2 is 1 times negative 3 is negative 3, minus 2 is negative 5. So I'm right on its axis, high point on its axis. I'm going to do my best to dot in a sine curve. Now here's where it gets a little bit confusing. Just a little, not much. I want to put in my asymptotes. And I know my asymptotes are going to be where, for the parent function, where sine is 0. Well, if I put pi over 6, negative pi over 6 in here, so I'm taking sine of 0. I would be taking cosecant of 0, which is undefined. So my vertical asymptotes are where this sine curve crosses its axis, the shifted axis. Now, what happens at 0? Well, this would be cosecant of pi over 2, which is 1, times 3, 3, negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. So I'm going through this point, and my u is going to open downward. Now make sure your curve goes through those points. And here I'm going through this point, and my U's opening upward. And there is one cycle of the graph. Its period is 2 pi over 3. Its phase shift is negative 5. Its vertical shift is negative 2. And its amplitude is 3, and it is negative. All right, I hope this helps, and have a good day.